So, featured among this week's speakers, Madeline Brain, the mother of an Army veteran who was fatally stabbed in Harlem back in 2018. Watch this speech. I don't want anyone else to experience the senseless pain that many other victims across this United States of America have to live with every day. So I decided to use the voice that God gave me to be the voice for the voiceless across America. Let's make America safe again. Joining us now from the RNC convention, national crime victim rights advocate and CEO of the nonprofit Rescue an Angel, Madeline Brain, the mother you saw in that viral video from the convention floor last night. And Madeline, we've had you on before, but I'll tell you what, you had me in tears and cheers and <laughs> so many emotions, dear. I'm sure you've heard that from people, right? That your speech. Yeah. either you know, brought them to tears, brought them to their feet, made them get energized about this presidency, about this country. So God bless you, dear. How are you? Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Talk to us about um, your son. If people didn't see that amazing speech and why you're so fired up about trying to fix this country, especially when it comes to the criminal justice system, the prosecutors, the judges, just remind people what happened to your son and why you're so adamant about fixing things. Well, my son, Sergeant Hassan Kouya, was murdered in Harlem in 2018. 2018. Afghanistan war retired veteran received in return enemy fire on the Taliban. He was uh, murdered by a uh, four a family of four homicidal maniacs. Um, Hassan was stabbed to death. He was stabbed nine times, uh, kick punch stomped. You know, Hassan's father was also kick punch stomped and stabbed 12 times. Um, all four were apprehended and all four were charged with first degree gang assault and second degree murder. Um, all up to uh, 2022, before Alvin Bragg took office, the, um, as soon as he was handled the strong trial ready murder case, the case immediately fell apart, and two of the people had their uh, gang assault and murder charges completely dismissed. Ad, uh, Adam, um, not Adam, Alvin Bragg charged Mary Saunders with assault with a shoe and sentenced her to 14 months time served, and Travis Stewart, he sentenced to seven years. The two brothers, Christopher and James Saunders, both received 20 to life, which were also plea bargains. Um, the only person who was brought to trial was Christopher Saunders, and he was also given a, a deal, a deal. You know, um, he didn't get the 25 to life or the 50 to life that we were expecting under Sirens Vance and the um, original district attorney. So, you know, um, we're fighting for uh, justice, not just for Hassan, but also for the hundreds and thousands of other families and mothers across New York City, um, Chicago, um, Los Angeles, St. Louis, anywhere where we have runaway crime, we know, and these soft on crime policies and bail reform policies, we know that killers are actually walking free. Yeah, isn't that disgusting? And why do you think, I mean, is this all about trying to create chaos and then try to buy votes? Or, I mean, what, why would Democrats want to create these soft on crime policies and then put all the money behind these prosecutors and DAs and judges that won't throw the book at these scumbag criminals, regardless of the color of their skin? Why are they letting them out, do you think? Why are these people getting a slap on the wrist? Well, I, I think it, it stems from, in New York anyway, it stems from Albany. Um, we have Carl Hasty and Andrew Stewart Cousins who... Um, uh, sitting up there in Albany and they are feeling sorry for criminals because of something that happened to a gentleman named Khalif Browder or Brower, whatever his last name is. He spent quite a few years in jail for stealing a backpack and he committed suicide three years after he was released from Rikers Island. He couldn't afford the $3,000 bail. So um, when he finally did get out, he committed suicide years after he was released. So they used that as a reason to um, instill these bail reform policies. Also, the, 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 the bottom line is um, money. You know, um, to, to close down bikers and close down all the jails in New York City, you know, to build smaller jails, smaller jails around the five boroughs and um, 
<laughs> they really don't care what happens to the public. They're not really interested in quality of life issues or, you know, uh, even the offenders themselves. They, they, they're not, they don't care. They, they just don't care. It's become a revolving door yeah. is what it's becoming. Disgusting. You know, uh, that, this is why our NYPD, you know, um, they, they are disrespecting them and the criminals don't even fear them at all. You know, uh, they, they're constantly resisting arrest. And, you know, if I was the NYPD, I wouldn't, you know, arrest them either. I wouldn't go through the changes of doing it because I wouldn't risk my career or my job or my life when they're not going to do anything but release them anyway. That's a great point. Think about the cops out there that put themselves, their lives on the line, and then you bring the bad guy into the station house, and the next day they let him go. I mean, I've only got a few seconds left, Madeline. Not even so the next much. day. Within a few hours. Right. Sometimes within the same a few day. hours they let them go. Right. My yeah. last question to mm -hmm. you is real simple, and I have about 20, 30 seconds left. I see you're wearing the Trump 2024 hat. I just want to ask you why you believe in Donald Trump and why you think he'll help fix this problem. Coming from a mother who knows. Go ahead. Well, um, I feel in my heart that uh, President Trump holds our values, our conservative values. He believes in God and family and country, you know, and, and this is what we need. We need a law and order restored to America, and I believe that he will be the best person for the job to get it done. You know, um, he's never been one to shy away or back down, even with getting his ear blown off. That's he true. still stands up and says, fight, fight, fight. Yes, he does. Madeline Brink, National Crime Victim Rights Advocate and CEO of the nonprofit group Rescue, Rescue Angel, who lost her son, Hassan. Thank you for sharing your story with the world last night, and thank you for sharing it with my viewers. God bless you, dear. Take care. Thank you so much for having me. Of course.